Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech and this is me back with another video. This time we're looking at the AGM 600 gaming mouse from AOC. Now this is a new product, they brought it out just before uh, November last year and I'm actually going to have a look at it. Now obviously they've got their own software which is called G-Menu. Very easy to use but first of all we're going to get into the overall look. So continue to watch. Right, so this is the mouse itself, and from the box you can see it has got RGB underneath as well as on by here. Now what, we'll, what I'll do is I'll turn off my, my light so you can have a look at it. Now as you can see, it's got an RGB illumination with an A for A gone at the back, and the bottom has got an RGB kind of strip, as you can see by there. Now you can control this with the G menu. Uh, software and overall it's very nice now what I will do is I'll show you what I'll do is you can listen to the click okay so so that's the click of both sides right so this is the G menu software as you can see I've already got a monitor and I've got the keyboard as well as a mouse. Now, this is what the mouse settings look like. Now, as you can see, it's got so many customizable um, buttons on here. That's quite surprising for a mouse. Now, it has got sensitivity. The lowest the DPI will go down to 200. The highest is 16,000 DPI. You've got control with double clicks. You've got the pointer speed. You've got scroll speed. Obviously, the uh, polling hurt only goes up to a thousand hertz, but that is fine. Uh, obviously, you can set the DPI. Mine is set at the moment at twelve uh, hundred. I usually like around uh, thirty six hundred. So then it's just fine. Then there's the. Yeah, we're gonna play that. Right. So this is the. RGB software in G menu now obviously this controls that part of the mouse now you've got wave you've got static breathing blink and then you've got single color which just basically puts it to a single color you've got random so that's R RGB but also you can link it up to your uh, other devices from AOC now I've got the, the keyboard from them their high-end keyboard it's fully cherry M cherry m x switches everything so you can like do you can link all the rgb accessories together you can link your monitor i have shown that in previous videos so overall you can just have a look if you want to so we'll get back now and i'll give you my overall opinion on this monitor okay so that's the uh the look at the software base now this can be linked up to for uh, NVIDIA, the control panel and stuff, it does link up to that. Of course, this has got a very big DPI setting. It's got the RGB. I have tried a few games with it. I played CSGO, which is primarily very fast-paced with shooting. This is this would be perfect for that type of shooting game. I also played a couple of games where you just walk around and stuff like that. The mouse feels very responsive. The clicks are very nice. They are a little bit loud but that's just me um the the rgb effect is really nice uh, the presentation of the mouse is really nice it fits nice in the hand it's got rubberized on the both sides so you don't get that horrible plastic feeling you get a nice rubberized texture so you can actually grip onto it it is quite light it you know let me have a look at the weight of this weight is 111 grams so it's not bad I know the wireless ones can get like down to a hundred gram or ninety grams. But you're talking like Logitech. I mean, it's not bad. It's a very nice um, gaming keyboard. Yes, it is cabled. It's wired, but you know, it it's quite cheap. I know that this is around the thirty pound mark. So uh, as far as I'm the uh, AGM seven hundred, the one I've got that I personally use. I believe that's 35 and I believe this is a little bit cheaper. So overall, not bad. The RGB illumination is quite nice. I would have preferred a bit more, but that's just me. I like RGB. So 
of course you know you get a quick start guide and the, the manual and stuff inside the box uh, it does come with its own little cable to attach to the cable so you can tidy it up with the cables but other than that a very nice gaming keyboard overall I liked it um, obviously you can sync it up to other AOC peripherals or their monitors for RGB I wish they could be a bit more compatible with other RGB softwares because like I got an MSI motherboard and all my RGB connects with that so I would have liked that to be being able to be synced because it is through USB so I would have liked it to be synced through different different softwares but overall that's just a nitpick of mind be personally but overall the I mean the software is really easy to do and you can link every bit of the accessories or any other peripherals you buy from AOC because they do headsets, gaming mice, keyboards. I've got one of their keyboards. I've got the highest end keyboard I use personally for editing and stuff. Cherry MX Red, as already uh, I've already said, very high end. It's got a metal body on the thing, so there's no flex. And this is a very nice addition. Uh, they they are bringing out more stuff. That is what I'm seeing online. If you guys want to check it out, I will try and find a link for you. Other than that, if you really want to try it, then I go have a look at the AOC website. I'll make sure to put it down below so you can have a little look yourself. So if you're looking for a cheap gaming mouse after the new year, bargain. I think it's around 30 quid, so it's quite competitive with MSI and you know Logitech. There's uh, Asus. They do all different types, so that's... A, quite uh, an attractive price for something that's really nice actually the illumination is really nice the software is easy to use it's probably one of the easiest softwares I've used for keyboards but overall that's just my opinion so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and also don't forget to follow me on my other social media accounts TikTok and Facebook uh, I have got more stuff coming um, I've got BenQ monitors coming I've just reached out to Bits Pro to see if they could uh, sponsor another video so I could do some maintenance on the water cooling and my, my personal computer so I can take you guys through a walkthrough and show you what to do. But yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. But overall, uh, I hope you guys had a happy new year and a merry Christmas. Goodbye.